The title of today's message is called, You Can Cheat the System. I never really liked my name, and I know why now. I thought I was a beautiful stallion. I trotted around all proud and cocky. Then God revealed to me the truth. A Jenny is a female donkey. A donkey is a domesticated ass, a stupid or stubborn person as defined by the dictionary. I am a donkey, but I can be trained. I am a stubborn person, but God sees much potential in me. John twelve fourteen. And Jesus, when he had found a young ass, sat thereon as it is written. Why did Jesus choose an, a donkey to ride? What benefits did he get from riding a donkey? Why didn't he ride a white stallion? Why didn't he wear a long white robe? Because Jesus wanted to illustrate his humanity over divinity. He wanted to heal those that had need of a physician. He didn't come to glorify the scribes and Pharisees or to fit in with them. He wanted to demonstrate that weakness could be strong and that the people that society typically rejects can be used to fulfill his purpose and glorify him. 1 Corinthians one twenty five, Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than me, so why would a donkey want to believe that they could be a beautiful stallion? When I wanted to be a beautiful stallion, I wished to fit into the world. I tried to seek worldly views, opinions, and wealth. I ended up poor and penniless. Why? Because I thought I could be selfish and happy at the same time, which is impossible. God humbled me slowly because he knew if he rushed me, or if he did it all at once, I would perish. My job coach slash mentor said one day, Jennifer, you can't cheat the career test. Just be yourself. He explained to me that there were trick questions on these tests that were put there on purpose to trip people up. He pointed out that perfection is not an option. It is hard for a donkey to realize that it is not a beautiful stallion, especially when they have type A personality and believe they can be perfect. It is hard to break free from a delusion, especially when you are driven with passion and strive to be a beautiful stallion. People expected me to be a beautiful stallion, or so I thought. So I was struggling to maintain an image that I didn't reflect. It is impossible for a Jenny to be a beautiful stallion, but with the help of Jesus, that Jenny can become a beautiful stallion. It can be a reflection of his love for humanity. I used to think God expected me to be 100% perfect. God wants to slowly mold me into that beautiful stallion so I can be 100% perfect. He isn't a vengeful God yelling, Be 100% perfect or else I will strike you down with lightning. And let's pause on that thought for a moment. I couldn't live up to God's standards because I tried too hard. I had moments where I got angry and I gave up. I've thrown my shares of tantrums, like maybe yesterday when I tried to do this video over again, for example. And I've gave up at times, like yesterday when I tried to do this video over again. I've thrown my share of tantrums, but like a loving parent, he chastised me. I thought discipline was cruelty. Why? Because I wasn't disciplined with love. My stepdad took a mini blind rod and hit my bottom over 50 times. I had stripes and welts that weren't necessary, but these stripes and welts taught me how strong I was. I didn't realize it when I was in fifth grade that God cared. I thought he hated me. I thought he was, a, he was cruel because I believed that he wanted me to live in misery. Where was God when I needed him most? Why did he forsake me? I didn't realize that he was there and that he suffered more than me. I prayed that he would kill my stepdad. I wanted vengeance. I didn't get it my way. Why? Because my way wasn't the right way. Being human doesn't mean we can be as smart as the Almighty. We can't compare ourselves to the Almighty. 
We are not equal to the Almighty, but with the help of Jesus, we can be delivered from bondage and cast out sin. Why? Because of grace. Does that mean there is an all-you-can-eat sin buffet? No. Does that mean if you make one mistake, grace is gone? No. My pastor explained to me once, although I really didn't understand what he was getting at, that grace is not a light switch that goes on and off. If you don't believe you have grace, faith can't exist. The biggest obstacle I still struggle with yet is my feelings. We need to trade feelings for faith. With the grace of God, we can overcome dwelling in how we feel. We can override such thoughts as, I don't feel like going to church. Forget how you feel. You can go to church. The reason that you feel that you can't go to church is that you convinced yourself that you can't. Drop the T from can't because you can go to church. Forget that word can't and replace it with can. Don't even say, I think I can. Instead, say, I know I can. Giving in to feelings is one of the most powerful weapons that Satan uses against us. It is a distraction that he wedges into our spiritual life. From there, he also uses people that we love as vessels to promote his power. Stop for a moment if your husband raises his voice against you and realize what is going on. See the situation for what it is. Don't give in to arguments. When your daughter plays that inappropriate music and chatters on about it, and it's usually that one song that drives you crazy, stop and realize that the devil is doing this. I know you feel like you are being attacked, and you have to stand up for yourself. Fight the devil, not your family. If you have to leave the room for 20 minutes and pray to God that you need help, he will give you strength. Luke 17, 1. It is impossible, but that offenses will come. But woe unto him through whom they come. Luke 17, 3. Take heed for yourself. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. And if he repent, forgive him. Go the extra mile although intense prayer is really needed for this one, and com compliment the person that the devil is using to tear you down. Matthew 6, 44. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use and persecute you. Matthew 6, 46. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? If you can identify the red flags at the moment they go up, you can defend yourselves without saying a single word. The moment the very hairs stand up on your neck, walk away and pray. You will feel so much better. In this regard, you can cheat the system. In fact, you can overcome it. You can tear it down. The system of evil can be overcome and overpowered by love. Romans 12:20 Therefore if thine enemy hunger feed him and if he thirst give him drink for in doing so thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head If you see someone that you know is your enemy and you hope they don't see you so you walk away don't do that make sure that they do see you and extend love toward them If you run away you're letting them win and you're letting them defeat you. Ephesians 6.11 Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand up against the wiles of the devil. Today let me pray with you. Dear Heavenly Father, please bless the people who receive this word and help encourage them and build them up and strengthen them, O Lord. They need your blessing. They need to know it's okay if they make mistakes and they can come home to you. For I found out that if I tell my father what I did wrong first, then that makes Satan powerless. Even if I tell everybody I know along with my father what I did wrong, then Satan has no advantage over me. He can't be telling on me first. Satan is like that. 
irritating um, person you might have had in your life that goes, I'm telling your mom on you. But if you tell your mom first, what advantage does that person have? So, please bring your people closer to you. And the ones that want to be close to you, bring them also. For Jesus looks for that one lost sheep. And he rejoices greater over that one lost sheep than over the ones that are already with him. Jesus wants to adopt you today and, and give you a loving home. Please let him do so. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.